Hi everyone, welcome to Learn English with Devina. We make videos to help you with your English learning and improvement journey. This is part 3 of our video series about 9 ways to improve your English speaking skills. If you haven't watched the first two parts, I will request you to watch them. In part 1, we discussed 3 interesting ways to become habitual of English and to make it a part of our daily routine. In part 2, we discussed 3 practical ways to build vocabulary and to make it a part of our core speech. So make sure that you watch both the videos if you haven't already. And today, well today we are going to learn 3 fun and entertaining ways to learn English. So the first way is watch in English. Yes, so to talk in English, you have to first watch in English. So in this way, what do you have to do? Well, nothing. You just have to sit back, relax, enjoy. Yes, exactly that. You have to do that without doing much. Uh, how, if you're wondering? Well, we all love watching movies and TV shows, right? At least I do. And it could be in any language, Hindi, English or any regional language. So for this particular way to work, what you have to do is, you have to pick a series or a movie to watch on any streaming platform of your choice and you have to play it but with subtitles on. Yes, always. You have to switch on the English subtitles whenever you are watching a movie or a show or any particular episode of any series. Pay attention to the words that are being spoken and also the words that are written on the screen. Initially, because you will take this as a task, it will seem a little difficult, but slowly it will normalize and the rush will settle in. This method will be helpful in three different ways. First, if you are watching something in English, then you will be able to pick up pronunciations of certain words and also you will know the right places to use certain phrases. Second, if you are watching something in Hindi or a regional language, then you will pick up the translations of common sentences and common words and because that language is more relatable to you, you will be able to grasp the English version quickly. And third, you will learn so many new words and language expressions. Second way is lyrical method and as the name suggests, yes, this method involves a lot of lyrics. We all love music for different reasons and of different kinds but we cannot deny the fact that music is a very important part of our daily life. So for this way to work, what you have to do is, you have to choose an English song Put on your headphones and switch on the lyrics tab and then play the song. And when you are listening to the song, you read the words, read the lyrics, read it very carefully, pay attention to it and also enjoy that length of time. Be very present when you are listening to that song with that music on and as you are reading those lyrics. Once the song gets over, just switch off the lyrics and play the same song again. You will be surprised to notice that you remember so many words and lines and the song lyrics will start to resonate with you. This is because music has a very positive impact on our capacity to retain information and learning. So I suggest you do this more often as per your liking. Now the last and the third way of today is power reading. You must have heard how power naps are a thing but for me power reading is my thing. So in this technique what I do is, I choose a book and then for 15 minutes I read the book section without any distraction and after 15 minutes get over, only and only then I get up from my spot. So for this technique to work as a learning mechanism, what you have to do is, you have to choose a book first in English language and if you are new at reading then maybe you can choose a simple book of fiction or non-fiction in English language. Then choose a comfortable spot. Put your phone on silent mode and keep a pencil or a highlighter with you and start reading. Really start reading. When you stumble upon a word that you don't know the meaning of or that you would want to maybe learn more about, then just mark it but don't stop reading. Keep on with it. With books, there is a certain sort of advantage that we get because we kind of understand the contextual meaning of sentences without really knowing all the words. So uh, we better take that advantage. So just continue with the reading and stop only after 15 minutes. And then you will have a bunch of words 
and you can look them up for their meanings and their sentence usage. Now, if you continue with this power reading technique, you will surely develop a habit of reading A and B, you will also learn new words on the go. So these are the three ways that I personally find very entertaining and fun and also very easy to practice. Uh, if you are new with English music or English books or need any sort of suggestions, then please don't forget to leave comments below and I will help you with that. Also, if you found this video helpful, please make sure that you like and share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more English learning related content. Happy learning to you!